Hello and welcome to another video. I just thought that I wanted to do the video before I went to bed. Um, and it's about, uh, this is part of my life coaching um, series that I'm doing for my uh, program I've created called Project 2021. And it's about mental health and about victimisation. Victimisation is basically where somebody uses your mental health against you um, in terms of like uh, holding the fact that you're not sleeping, uh, you're watching YouTube, or you're, you know, reading self-help books. And it's basically, you know, taking away tools that are, that you are finding that helps you with your mental health. And, like, twisting everything you say, um, you know, uh, and trying to make you feel that it's wrong to have, be, wrong to have mental health issues when it's not there's so many people that have mental health problems now um and i do think part of it has been because of modern technology with the internet and everything um and, of, and also with covid and the pandemic you know that's probably that has you know it's taken its toll um but we you know mental health is a subject that you know is now being taken seriously which it should be because you know even the most richest man in the world could still have anxiety and depression you know it's um you know it, being depressed is where you feel kind of like you can't stop crying or you constantly thinking about suicide and that sort of thing um and then you've got anxiety where you you create like what the worst case scenarios you know of being anxious, um, you know, uh, having the fear of not going out, or the fear of being being indoors, you know, or fear of food, fear of um, meeting new people, you know, it could be anything um, that you know makes you feel uh, sometimes in fear or sometimes inadequate, you know, compared to other people, and it's normal to have, you know mental mental health issues because you know when you especially when you start to hit puberty your emotions are like um can become the extreme sometimes especially if you you know you, you've not long you know, started your, your menstrual cycle that can really affect your um the way you feel about yourself and sometimes that can be to do with a hormone imbalance you know um but victimization is where mental health is held against you and um and it's kind of saying you're not allowed to you know watch youtube or you're not allowed to um read that read a certain book that's gonna you know help you address certain situations in your life that because one part of mental health is facing, uh, looking at your, your problems and thinking of how to fix them, you know. Um, I was in an area where I, at first I was okay, but now I am in fear of it and I don't want to go back there because I know that I will slip back into, you know, um, into feeling that I'm not in the right place and that's, that's important you know you've got to feel comfortable where you live in and you've got to be comfortable where you you know who you live with and um, who you feel comfortable you know talking to because there's a lot of people who you know uh, pretend that they listen to you but they don't and they're the kind of people that will victimize and that will uh, you know um, target use your mental health against you rather than for you and half the time it's not that you won't really want a professional therapist to listen to you you just want, just want somebody to listen you know uh, not give an opinion not be judgmental not be um you know uh trying to play use it so you know you're you know you can't put one foot in front of the other you know just because you suffer, suffer with depression doesn't mean you can't walk and you can't um you know do a normal shopping list it just means that you you're in you're feeling low because you know you're you feeling that um you know if you're especially when you're stuck in a rut which it can happen if you're on a, a job that you're not happy with 
and I've often felt like that and that's when I know I've then got, I need to make a change and that's why often if I've got to the point in a workplace where I've felt um, you know, it's stuck in the rut and it's not going anywhere then and I start to feel like oh god we could do we don't want to go in there today um, it can mean that you need to change and you need to and life is about changes and I really and I do know there's good things on the horizon and even things like that you know even when you say that you know you're going to be starting a new life they can hold that against you as well you know when in fact you wouldn't just say it for the sake of it you're saying it because it's true and also because they become in fear you know of of your you know uh, they become fearful of you making a, a change in things in your life because it means that you know it may mean that you're gonna push them aside and sometimes you just have to if you're a bit of people who are um, giving you the silent treatment um, not allowing you to watch a bit TV or moan about you washing up or um, you know uh, eating their food you know uh, it could be anything you know that they're just using everything they can to t use you as a, uh, like a target um, because they because they may have mental health issues too but they fight to admit it so they use you as a you know a reason to you know make them feel better by attacking you you know and so it does mean that sometimes you just have to you know find a new path and one that where you feel comfortable where you feel that you know things are going up rather than down you feel like um you know the good th other good things are coming away and that's important for your mental health you know and uh, mental health can be all sorts of factors you know it doesn't have to be one be one thing necessarily it can be a mountain of things you know um but victimization is a one thing that is you know quite uh, uh, more um, common than what you think because I think sometimes a lot of people who don't suffer mental health don't really understand it or get it they they have an idea of what it is but they have no idea you know and I think only those who have who have mental health issues can really understand what it's like to feel depressed and being anxious and having anxiety you know it's a awful feeling you know and um you know it should ne you should never it should never be held against you um because at the end of the day you know the, when you especially when you become an adult and i w i mean <laughs> i would thought well, what some i've been kind of the per someone who has found most days a struggle at times um you know even as a child i hated school and um you know but i you know i've always had my music and that's what's keeping going and even things like that you know if that's been held against you uh, and used you as a way of you know um then you holding that against you and you're using that to help you through you know times of your life then that is victimization and it is actually against the law now which i'm really pleased with because you know the mental health is something to be taken seriously because you know you, you don't want to wake up and feel like you if nothing's going for you 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 want you want to change and when you have mental health issues it means that something needs to change you know a lot of the time um and we're, we're fighting to talk to speak out about it because there are those that will use it you know to in a negative way um and, and you do have the right to report it as well you know you have a right to report it um there are channels where you can go um, mind.org is a brilliant site and um you know i'm gonna present that tomorrow tomorrow just because i just sometimes just like to look at it you know and blog loving is a really good platform for reading blogs of of garden mental health as well um uh if you th there is there is a mental health week and i don't know which week it is but i'm gonna find out when that is but um you know even my son's school did a, a thing about mental health 
because children can suffer mental health because I did, you know. And I think sometimes that can be ignored because a lot of people think, well, they're too young to understand what mental health is about. And that's not true because in my case, I've had, been, had uh, issues with my mental health since I could, you know, since I became aware of who of of me and of things around me, you know, and as you get older, you know, you do get more worried, you know. And when I became a mum, um, you know, I thought that you know it would be a happy time, and and it was in one respect, but I still I felt sometimes that my anxiety was quadrupled, you know. Because again, I felt like I wasn't being taken seriously at the time, and I, that's why I didn't even admit that I had postnatal depression because I just thought, no, I just keep it quiet because you don't know how people are going to react to you when you say you've got like depression or postnatal depression because yeah, you know, and then you feel really bad for saying it, you know, because then you feel like, oh, I'm a bad mother for saying that I'm I'm depressed because of this new arrival is becoming you know more of a task than what i thought it was and it's not that it's because you know having a kid is uh, is a change of life experience and your hormones uh, again can be twice as worse <laughs> and uh, you don't know what was going to happen uh, each, through each trimester um you know i knew a lady who uh, i knew from when i used to uh, with my parents go to the pub on sundays and there was a lady there who had quite a few miscarriages um, and then finally she did have a child of her own um, and that must have caused so much heartache uh, but she always seemed sort of so um, uh, she never seemed to be cross she just seemed to be uh, sad about it but she never like um, you know I was only told that because uh, I think it was my mum or dad who told to me, told me um, about her. Because every time I saw her, I saw her, she was pregnant. And I went, I went, but yeah, she's been pregnant a lot. And then my mum told me. Um, but yeah, I mean, it can be anything that can cause um, mental health. It doesn't have to be, you know, um, uh, you know, because you don't like yourself. It can often be because you're worried about you know, uh, meeting new people because social anxiety is a is a is a thing. You know, because uh, I've had that too. Um, and you know, it, victimization is where it, you feel like you're doing wrong by, you know, having anxiety and worrying and you know, um, suffering with like paranoia and and being in fear. You know. Um, and it's not necessarily about something about a person. It can just be about the way you feel about yourself. You know, um, that's why I can understand why you know you you see stories like um, you know Caitlyn Jenner and um, you know uh, even uh, I remember hearing about um, who was it? Who was it? Um, he talked about, you know, how he had to hide away that he was gay for ages because he knew that he would get a lot of prejudice uh, against him and so he tried to pretend that, you know, he wasn't, but he was and he knew he was. Um, and we had that our school, we had a gay teacher and, uh, and we, I didn't even know that um, until he passed away, sadly. Um, but mental health is should not be held, held against you. It should be something where you're given support and uh, the right support. And I don't like it when people force something upon me uh, without telling me. That really gets it just makes me want to run a mile. I hate being pounced on. And uh, I like to do things my way uh, and not by somebody else's, you know, rules. Um, it has to be on my terms, and that's how I feel about it. And a lot of people meant to help feel that, feel that because you know it's not that you're losing control; it's just the fact that you're finding it hard to deal with something that is triggering negative and d depressive thoughts. Um, so you know, never let anyone victimise you because of how you're feeling about yourself or if you're you've got anxiety or you've got you know depression never allow anybody to force things upon you 
I think in terms of someone in mental health, it's good to give tips and advice and allow them to decide if they want counselling or not and let them, you know, and you can find therapists and um, do talk to your GP, that is the best way. Um, you know, um, but never, if you know somebody who's got mental health problems, don't force them to go to a therapist or or have people coming around because that can just make them want to crawl up in a cave and hide away, you know. They just want somebody who can, uh, they want somebody who they can choose, who they can trust, who will listen, who will ask then actually counsellors because one of my aunties did counselling um course and my uncle and they said that they're not actually allowed to ask questions even therapists aren't they're not actually allowed to ask questions they just they will um say you know um they would uh, and they will just let you talk and they listen and that is you know that's when you know you've got the the, the perfect a counselor and therapist and like I say get referred from your GP um, you know and look at mind.org because they have help and support on there too and citizens advice they're, they're brilliant um, in terms of um, and obviously NHS but like you I'm a bit like uh, because of Covid they've got a lot, quite a lot to worry about in a minute but, it, but you know with Covid I bet there is you know mental health um issues you know with i mean not being able to see people all the time you know but yes so um that's what we're talking about in the video and i will see you in the next one take care bye bye